टाइपराइटर टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है टाइपराइटर टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है टाइपराइटर टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है Alarm. Most of the dolphins fly away like arrows for the sea. It is impossible to pursue them. But luckily, a few have chosen to remain riding our bow. प्यार की अर्जी करना हो तो इससे प्यार बढ़ा लो इससे प्यार बढ़ा लो अपने दिल की हालत लिख दो अपना काम बना लो अपना काम बना लो जीवन का हम राज यही है जीवन का हम राज यही है हालत दिल की सुनता है करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है नाचे फिंगर नाचे फिंगर लाइन बनती जाए प्यार भरा लव लेटर देखो क्या क्या रंग दिखाए क्या क्या रंग दिखाए फाइटर टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है फाइटर टिप 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 करता है जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है हम भी अपने दिल की बातें रोज टाइप करते हैं रोज टाइप करते हैं
he looked as if he was thinking about getting in, but then the postman came back and he swaggered off, walked past the window and down the stairs, and then the bottom of the stairs up to the caretaker's office, he started licking the pavement. Every night now since we moved into that new house, there's this noise outside the door just about half seven or eight o'clock every night. Now if you go and look outside the door, Elvis will be standing there waiting to be let in. And then he wanders into the living room and maybe sits down in one of the chairs or even lies down on the floor. He doesn't say much, he just stays there for an hour or two watching the TV. We talk to him a bit and then around 10 o'clock he'll go away again and I'll come back for the next night. There's a lot of lanes and stuff around here, around the house. Although it's right in the middle of the city, it seems a bit like the country. It's dead hidden. Safe, I suppose. Good for hiding. There's a lot of squirrels and birds. And Stuart says he's seen about nine foxes there when he's jumping over the fence on his way to buy his road. Sometimes you can go out walking and when you've been out for a wee while, even you don't know where you are anymore. So it'd be pretty hard for anyone else to find you. I suppose that's, that's why he spends so much time there. That's why he's came to live there. Or maybe it's just the squirrels. I read about somewhere that he likes squirrels quite a lot. There's these two videos that we got of the wedding presents called The E-Files. The E-Files 1 and The E-Files 2. About how Elvis is supposed to be still alive. And one time when he came round we were watching one of those. He didn't say anything, he just sat on the armchair. He was playing with his collar a bit, and he watched it all through, but then when it finished, he just got up and walked up into the mezzanine and he didn't say anything. The first few times he came around, and I didn't speak to him at all, or do I wasn't really sure what to say, and Pam spoke to him quite a lot, and she seemed to know what to do more than I did. He had this quite a strange manner, he would just go into your stuff and look through it, and then he'd maybe pick something up and play with that for a while, but he'd never make any comment about any of it. It seemed pretty rude to me. But I just watched whatever Cam did with him, listened to how she talked to him, and then after a while I started to copy that, tell him a few things, and not really bother about whether he responded or said anything back or not. I think the first time I spoke to him we were sitting up on the mezzanine, and I decided that I would tell him about me and me camp and how it was we'd come to be living there. I thought he probably liked the fact that we were living there because he came round so much, so I thought he might want to know how it was that it came about. We did it all over backwards, I told him. First of all, we got to know each other, and then a while after that we met. And when we'd known each other for about seven years, we decided to have an anniversary. And that went quite well. So after the anniversary we had a honeymoon and that went well too. So after that we decided we would get married. That's why we're living there now. I used to think my dad was Elvis. But I haven't 